And now, your first alert weather. Well, we're here at Boo at the Zoo for night one. Again, this is a fundraiser for the Idaho Falls Zoo at Tapas Park. The trick-or-treaters are starting to get in here to the local news aid booth and all across the zoo tonight. What's your name? George. And what are you tonight? The Mandalorian. You're the Mandalorian. Okay, oh, and you got, you got Baby Yoda. I don't know. Do we have a name for Baby Yoda yet? Grogu. Okay, I did hear that. <laughs> so, all I know is Baby Yoda. Have you got some good candy yet? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I see some cow tails in there. Those are really good. And some dots. What's your favorite candy? Snickers. Snickers? That's a solid choice right there. All right, I'll let you get more candy. He's like, I don't want to be here much longer. All right, so we got people lined up getting candy here at Boo at the Zoo. It is a fun, family-friendly event here at the Idaho Falls Zoo at Tapas Park. First admission starts at 5 o'clock. Last admission is 8.30. Buy your tickets online at the zoo's website, and you get a little bit of a deal before you get to the gate. And, again, it's tonight, tomorrow night, and Saturday night. And the weather couldn't be more perfect for Boo at the Zoo. There have been years in the past we've been out here in full parkas and snow gear and we've been fighting rain and snow this year though we're getting some really nice weather and we're going to continue this night we're going to continue this nice weather through tomorrow let's get outside let me show you current temperatures right now we got those 70s through the snake river plain we got 74 right now in black but 75 for pocatello and we're in the mid 60s in island park idaho falls so the weather station just dropped offline but we are getting those mid to lower 70s out there and as we take a look at first alert viper radar we have dry conditions, very dry conditions across the western United States. There's no moisture out there. We are holding on to this dry weather pattern thanks to high pressure that is just dominating the western half of the United States. The high pressure is centered right over Utah and southeastern Idaho tonight. And we're going to continue to see this weather for tomorrow. But we have some changes coming in as we head into Sunday. We're going to have the high pressure overhead here on the Viper cast. And let me put this into motion. As we get into Friday, we're going to see that high start to sneak off closer towards New Mexico and Texas. It's still going to be pretty nice here for tomorrow afternoon, and we got temperatures still back into those 70s. We're going to cool it off slightly here for Saturday as that ridge of high pressure flattens out, and we start working in some low pressure from the northwest with some rain and snow on the way. And yes, we might be seeing some snow in the lower elevations, but we're dealing with mostly rain here as we get into Sunday night and Monday along with some gusty winds. But for tonight and tomorrow, it's pretty quiet out there. We're going to have winds out of the southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. High temps around 70 degrees tomorrow, and we're going to get the rain and snow in here starting next week, starting for Sunday night into Monday. Heading up to Yellowstone tomorrow and Saturday, looking beautiful with highs in the 50s and 60s. Elsewhere, we got highs here hitting 72 for Montpelier, 68 in Lava, and the lower 70s towards Malad with lows tonight back into the upper 30s. We should be about freezing tonight in Jackson with a high of 72. 70 for Rexburg and 65 in Island Park, 68 towards Dubois. Jackson's eight-day forecast great tomorrow and Saturday and then the temperatures begin to tumble just a bit for Sunday and then we're into the 50s for Monday with the winds picking up rain and snow to carry us all the way through Tuesday and Wednesday with highs at 46 by Wednesday afternoon then we get into Rexburg highs here at 68 for Saturday and 67 for Sunday we're in the mid 50s for Monday and Tuesday with some wind and some passing showers in the forecast it's going to feel completely different next week that's for certain as we go into central Idaho we got highs here at 75 for salmon and chalice 70 for Mackey 67 in Arco with low Lows back into the 30s and 40s tonight. Sam, in your eight-day forecast, highs here at 73 for Saturday, upper 60s for Sunday. And we got highs in the 50s for Monday and Tuesday. Then as we get into the Snake River Plain, Idaho Falls should get to about 71 for tomorrow, 75 for Pocatello, and the same for American Falls with lows tonight to the 30s and 40s. Blackfoot's eight-day forecast, upper 60s for Saturday and the upper 60s for Sunday. Then we're bringing in that cooler air with the windy wet weather Monday through Thursday of next week. And we're going to see often on rounds of wet weather Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday with those winds. Pocatello, a high of 73 for Saturday, low 70. 70s for Sunday, and we got those gusty conditions with the showers in play all throughout next week, and temperatures will be into the upper 30s for overnight lows. Idaho Falls, 68 degrees for Saturday, 68 for Sunday, and we got the mid-50s as we get into Monday and Tuesday for next week. We got some wet weather, some big changes on the way, and some of that wet weather gets in as early as Sunday evening with more of that wet weather uh, just starting to be off and on for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So after a week of temperatures, 
temperatures in those 70s. Now it's going to feel more like October. So this is actually one of the nicest boo at the zoo events I've ever been to weather-wise. I mean, you don't even need a jacket right now, and it looks like it's going to stay this way for a good chunk of the evening. Again, boo at the zoo goes until 9 o'clock tonight. Last admission's at 8.30. We do it all again tomorrow and then all again here for Saturday. So, Todd and Linda, you guys actually might want to come out and enjoy the nice weather before we stay so long to it forever, it feels like, because, you know, once we get into winter, it just seems like it never ends. <laughs> we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. I was just saying and we'll try that. To get more, more trick-or-treaters on the camera here okay. they, they're they're just really dedicated to that candy they make a beeline for the candy you can't you can't blame that it looks fantastic we were just saying what a nice boo at the zoo it is sadly we'll have to pay for it later michael thanks a lot we'll check back with that let's check your consumer news stocks slide today as wall street mulled over the commentary from federal reserve chair